Right time for Journeys Interactive. Uh, my pit sister bit is here. Hello, Max. Hello, Izzy. How are you? I'm well. I'm fine, thank you. Now, you know how to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram or Joe News on TV. Send us a WhatsApp message on 055 815 7074. This is just the beginning. That's a warning to government by some angry residents of Takwa who went on a rampage this morning in demand for good roads. These sentiments are shared not only by people in the western region but cuts across the top most priority of concerns and a lot of communities in the country. Now we've been asking you in the streets of Accra what are some of what is the state of the roads in your community today? Kobaria, uh, especially the road is not that good. That's why if it rains it's hardly to have access to the location, especially when you get to the runabout. The, because of the rain, the place becomes choked. So you don't have exact vehicular access going and coming. So unless the other opponent coming from Pokwasi, Amasamai, have to wait for some time. Then those coming from Circle down to Pokwasi to have to wait. Because the runabout is being choked. Especially if we, we, we look at Ayololo, where Ayololo bus is, at the back, that road links to Pokwasi at the back there, you see that the road is not that good. I am from the northern region of Ghana in a community called Dalong Precise in the Kumbongo district. And uh, I must say the roads in the district is not satisfiable at all. And um, not much has been done. Uh, there's only one road that I can point which is in a good state in the whole district. I live in Salem. We don't have any better. Upside the major road through Dodua to Zomanya, that's all. The, the, I mean, the roads in the communities are not uh, more trouble. There was a previous a former assemblyman who even came to sort of uh, wind sand on the road in the name of uh, Rada. Um, trying to put uh, reshape the road, but rather came to Winston, and then you, you can't just you can't just imagine if you come and have a look at it. I will be very happy if you follow it up. From commander in the KEA municipality of the central region, um, the road commander to commander John Shiwe was given to contract somewhere 2017, and the contractors has they have been doing some few. Um, reluctant when it comes to th making sure that the contract is done on time. Now, the road in my area is terrible. Right. After Sunday's downpour, like, literally, the only the main roads are perfectly fine, are tired. So, I mean, we need to fix it. Like, we really need to fix it. But let's see what you've been saying on Facebook. Kofi Mensa says, Bono and Ahafo region, very, very terrible. Everything now is about Accra, Kumase, and Tamale. We Bono and Ahafo people, are we also Ghanaians? Well, it turns out that the president says the Sino Hydro money that's coming is going to benefit all the regions, so you can wait for your motorway. Emmanuel Ato, Abliku Matumaiha Road in Gan West is a hell of a road. And Suji Abbas says, Joy posting and commentators commenting 2020 seems to be in trouble. Where were we not in Ghana here, where NDC said they have done massive infras, road more than all governments put together. The media helped heighten this hype. You now ask of our road. Mahama has completed them all. Sema James says, We've answered these questions several times on your page, Master. How many times? Are we going to answer this? Well, there are those who also need to have uh, their views across. Nikwe says, I live in Nima, and any time I see government trying to fix my road, I get angry. Reasons are, why should I, normal human being born by male and female, be setting fire on a road in the name of cooking or merrymaking and even dig a pit? And they will tell you cars are going speed. Nobody talks, so let's all suffer together. Ali Baba says, a tibubu. Uh, Kwame Dan's road is more than terrible due to the, this armed robbers of taking advantage, robbing innocent Ghanaians. The police within that enclave, enclave should please help, should please rise up to the task. Daniel Uzu said, Charlie Jones, Ufanko Barrier, you don't want to see what happens in the morning due to bad road. And it's same after 5 p.m. 
the portals are manholes. Okay, we hear you. All right, Alaudo says, every, every day we sit behind our desk and insult to the executive, but today it's going to the directors and the bosses, including the common citizens. Look at this nice road below. I have seen certain red red at the junction instead of that DCE and assemblyman to plant grass on it to curb erosion. No, they will sit and see. Now it seems that day in and day out, Ghana's energy crisis deepens and now as, as you know the PDS has announced that there will be more power outages to begin April 11th. It is said that the power outages were lost for six consecutive days from Thursday 11th April to Wednesday 17th April. Now by the order of Gridco, PDS will cut off power in parts of the country. Are you ready and what's your take on this? My perception about the whole thing is that there's something bigger which we are not being told. That's what I am thinking. And um, I am attributing it to mismanagement, which is why uh, the days were given and now we have to give them six more days. I doubt if the six more days, if we, even if we give them 60 days, the problem will still be solved. So I think they should come clearer so that we will understand. If they need more time, we of course will understand that there's a bigger problem and they need more time to fix it. Otherwise, giving us these limited days and then we have to give another more six days, I don't think it's, uh, it's good for Ghanaians. I think that uh, we had high hopes when they came in. But looking at what happened to ECG, the kind of indebtedness that they were, um, we, we think that we need to allow them um, fix it. If they say they can fix it within the next six days, let's let's give them more time to fix it. And I hope after that time, if things get worse, then we can take them by their words. They need to vomit out. Whatever I say, they have to vomit out. Because they have to tell us the truth. What is going on. So that we too, as a nation, as a Ghanaian, we can, based on that, and see what we too, as a citizen, we can do about it. Where is that so? I know that company itself cannot do anything. Ready for more doom? So we've been asking you on our Facebook page. We'll start with Calvin, who says, "MPP, never again. I'll never allow them to deceive me again." In Jesus' name. Adu Daniel says, "If we think these politicians that are going, it's these politicians that are going to develop this country, then we should rethink the mindset of so-called politicians now. Is how can we win power up to that?" How can we amass wealth for ourselves? The danger ahead is earthquake. Or it's, earthquake it's not earthquake, or, but youthquake. And there's one uh, down there. It says, uh, Divine as many says, so instead of coming out to declare a longer period of these outages so you can resolve the issues once and for all, they want to be releasing it soppy soppy just because of politicians. Oh, Ghana. Well, you know how to continue the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll join you on TV. Send us a WhatsApp message on 055 815 7074. I'm a piece of CBD. Yeah.